Thank you for staying with us on Y254 News. And if you're just joining us tonight on the debrief, we talk about youth engagement. This uh, year's Youth Week theme being Youth Engagement for Global Action. And join with me today, we have Wendy Aura, who is a director, Young Women Leaders Connect, and she is also a youth leader. Thank you very much, Wendy, for finding the time to come here tonight. Yeah. Uh, you can be part of this conversation by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at at Patricia Mayoki. We have like 10 minutes, but I believe we have enough time to really exhaust on everything that we like to talk about uh, tonight. And the first thing, this year's theme is youth engagement for global action, which has different streams on how they want the youth to be engaged. But before we even start, touch on what really does this day um, entail, what do you think is the importance of having a youth week? What impact does it have on the young people of this country and the, the globally? Okay, thank you for, for hosting me. You're welcome. Um, first of all, Youth Week is a very important week for us as youth because it's it's one moment that we as young people and all stakeholders in the countries, different countries, mm -hmm. we come back together and we're able to sit down and analyze what 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 has been what have we gained what have we benefited in the past year after the the previous youth week what have we done right mm -hmm. and we also look at the failures okay the places where we are failing in mm -hmm. because as you know that youth compose of three quarters of most countries populations mm -hmm. and that means that they are very crucial in all decision making they are very crucial in all development processes so in in that sense alone we need to uh, consider that youth, youth as a demographic area, mm -hmm. is one is one is a group that needs to be like to be able to be thought about very well. Okay. Because when as a president, you want to look as how you how you're going to run the country. Mm -hmm. You have to consider that which people am I running? Mm -hmm. Am I going to to manage? Mm -hmm. And you find that majority are youth. So when you have this youth week, you're able to to look back at the steps the uh, the gains we've made, mm -hmm. the failures we've had, mm -hmm. and what 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 are we looking at? Okay, we need to also rethink at the vision we need to to uh, to reach. Okay, at the end of the day, you've talked about looking and uh, pro probably looking at where are we coming from. What have we been able to achieve as a country? But before we even get to talk about uh, today, this year's theme, which is youth engagement, and see how really can the youth be engaged and at what capacity in our country. Do you think that uh, the progress that we have so far in our country, Kenya, as far as youth engagement and job creation uh, to the young people is concerned, how would you rate that? And what's your opinion on where we are currently? Currently, do, uh, with the pandemic that just mm -hmm. came up, mm -hmm. I think we've just gone far much behind. Mm -hmm. uh, even if we're, make, we're making strides before the corona came, mm -hmm. but you look at the economy has been hit so hard, mm -hmm. and that is something that is global. Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, the youth suffer the aftermath of all this. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the existing corruption in the countries, it has never ended. We mm -hmm. keep on fighting it, but it's something that is there. It exists within the leaders, and mm -hmm. the youth are the first people to be affected directly by such, such corruptions. Mm -hmm. So you find that economic-wise, we've gone far much behind, mm -hmm. and maybe this country will need a lot of work to really recover, mm -hmm. to come back to the position where we are. Mm -hmm. And that is even before the pandemic. Okay. And uh, because you've seen a lot of unemployment, layoffs, mm -hmm. a lot of people, just the jobs not being the way they used to be. Mm -hmm. So economic wise, we've gone so much behind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's say now, as we also still continue with the pandemic, and as we probably say, let's say we wake up one morning and COVID-19 is no more, and now the government tries to recover what has been lost or the time that probably uh, has been lost in making sure that we are trying to impact or empower the young people. What, in what capacity do you think the government now can engage the young people to make sure that they are part and parcel in contributing whether to the growth of the country's economy or any other growth in the country? So first of all, I think the, the youth need to be engaged at the, mo the core level of decisions. Mm -hmm. yeah? And that starts with making decisions about, for example, if we have the, the, the funds that have been allocated for uh, maybe ma uh, managing the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So the youth need to be, account uh, to be accounted for mm -hmm. how much the funds have been used. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about Kazi Mutani, mm -hmm. 
how many youths have been able to benefit from that. Mm -hmm. And so that means that from the word go, we need to be there from uh, the point of decision making. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we be able to, uh, when we are making decisions, we be able to allocate enough money mm -hmm. that is rightful for the youth. Mm -hmm. For example, if we need to allocate money for, let's say the health sector, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the education, how much, how, how well do we consider the youth when being such? Because we need to look at this, this one big democratic area, mm -hmm. demographic area. Mm -hmm. So when making such decisions, we need to find, uh, to enable, to ensure that allocation of funds is rightful mm -hmm. and they're well uh, uh, accounted for. Mm -hmm. And also, and you've just had uh, today, Mwashimiwa, the former, uh, yeah, the NAC leader, Honorable Martha Kwarwa. Mm -hmm. So you, she was speaking about uh, being able to be transparent with the funds. Mm -hmm. And that's something maybe we need to look at because when these funds get lost and corruption is something we live with in, that, in this country. Mm -hmm. So in that way, you find that uh, many youths are suffering down there. Mm -hmm. You know, Many of them are suffering. And, we, and when we can't be able to make our leaders accountable, mm -hmm. then they are going to suffer more. OK. Yes. Uh, when we talk about the young people and we, when we talk about the Youth Week, as a director mm -hmm. of the Young Women, Le Women Leaders Connect, what activities do you have to probably inform the youth or educate them on probably opportunities that are there or different uh, things that can help them become better people? OK, right now we are limited to only virtual mm -hmm. uh, sessions because we can't hold any physical event. Yeah. So we are planning a, a webinar that will be on Friday mm -hmm. from 2 PM. Mm -hmm. And the main, the main reason, objective for that will be to be able to bring stakeholders together. And we talk about youth in development. Because mm -hmm. if you want to talk about the theme, which is engagement of the youth uh, uh, in, the, in global action, mm -hmm. then development is one aspect that the youth need to be, for, uh, to be at the forefront. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about how, how well are we going to engage the youths, what are the setbacks. Mm -hmm. And you find that today youth, because of the energy that they have, mm -hmm. we have many youth who are taking part in community development. Mm -hmm. We have uh, many youth organizations that are working towards uh, let me talk about even the crisis of teen pregnancies. Mm -hmm. We find it is the youth who are going out there to talk to the girls, mm -hmm. to talk to the boys, mm -hmm. you know. And also, if it is about uh, uh, being able to donate food stuffs, mm -hmm. you've seen youth coming out doing fundraisers and yeah. doing all that. So Especially we during need, the pandemic. Yeah, we need to, for us as Young Men Leaders Connect, we are going to acknowledge, mm -hmm. uh, to identify youth champions in communities who are doing good work in the in the society okay yeah. you've talked about different activities or rather uh, different ways in how the youth have been able to be involved in making sure that probably we are we having a better society or a better community mm. how then do you think the government because we we know the young people always come out and say i've gone to school i have the talent mm. i have probably an idea to do one two three how can now the government maximize the potential that we have as young people in this country so first of all, we, we need to focus more on training. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen uh, nowadays we are moving to the, uh, the CBC, mm -hmm. the format of CBC, because we've realized that it's not more about the papers, it's not about getting the A's and the B plus, you know. It's about nurturing the skills that we have. Because mm -hmm. as youth, we have a lot of talents, we have a lot of visions, ideas, great ideas. And mm -hmm. you've seen people innovating very very good things in, in this country. Mm -hmm. So we, when we're able to maximize on the training part, mm -hmm. to be able to, to develop these skills and grow them, mm -hmm. then we are building the next future, mm -hmm. the generation that is going to, in fact, not even the future. Mm -hmm. We are b building a generation that is able to solve the community problems mm -hmm. at the lowest level. OK. Yeah. Uh, this year's theme, which is Youth Engagement for Global Action, uh, one of the streams mm -hmm. is making sure that the young people are engaged at a global level. Do you think we've done enough as we wind up this conversation? Do you think mm -hmm. as a country we've done enough to make sure that our young people have access to opportunities, uh, we've prepared them well enough for the local stage before we now start thinking about going global or presenting them in different stages? Okay, I think there's more that needs to be done on that. Mm -hmm. If you look at the sports field, we have many young people who are doing well and representing us in, in, at a global level. Mm -hmm. But you've, at the same time, they do that, they represent it, and then you find that uh, we have scenarios of 
maybe there was money that was missing, there was mm -hmm. money that was not accounted for. Mm -hmm. So such, case, uh, that such cases, if you bring corruption in, uh, in such platforms mm -hmm. where the youth are able to represent us, mm -hmm. it, it just, it just uh, try to, it pulls back the vision that we, we have, mm -hmm. you know. If you want to more people to be, to represent us globally, then I think there's more work to be done, especially being able to create awareness of such platforms and being able to make them accessible. Mm -hmm. We want to have uh, platforms which are, are very transparent okay. and which are not corrupt because nowadays uh, you'll find a young person talking about, I don't know someone there, mm -hmm. I don't know how I'll reach there. Someone mm -hmm. will have the good skills, but they don't know how to present those skills to be able to represent us in the global space. So I think there's, there's more, it's, it's a challenge for us to be able to maximize on how we are going to create more platforms okay. for the youth to be, to be at the global level. Okay. Uh, your final, yeah. briefly, your final comments on this topic as far as young people of this country, when we talk about them, what is your final comment on people, young people watching us tonight? Okay, I believe uh, youth have the, the right potential, they have the energy, they have the vision, the ideas. Mm -hmm. And when we'll be able to maximize this, we'll be able to open our eyes to this, then we'll be able to be, to create a better world that we, we all envision and mm -hmm. i think it's a challenge to our leaders every day that they need to think of the youth first mm -hmm. in all decisions they're going to make okay. at county levels and national level we need to bring more people at, at the decision making tables we need to to start thinking about how youth are going to be affected and i just want to uh, i just want to underscore the fact that uh, we need to reduce amount of corruption in this country. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Wendy. We create more time probably and have a more rather detailed and discuss probably what we've not been able to tackle tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank that you. is all we have for you tonight. If you're a young person, probably you can check out for the webinar that is there on Friday and participate. You can get to learn one or two things. Thank you very much. My name is Patricia Morioki. Do have yourselves a very good night.